Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Unboxing and Stuff. Today we're going to be sawing the Solid RF Terrain Cell Phone Booster on my wife's car. And so we're going to go ahead and just jump right into this since you guys already saw the unboxing in the last video. And we're going to go ahead and get this thing set up. So I'm doing everything right in the car just to show you guys that it literally can travel with you and you can literally do it right in the car. You don't have to have any special stuff going on. So first we're going to get out our actual uh, booster here and we're going to get out our small pack of antennas. We're then going to go ahead and dump all these guys out. And then we're going to go ahead and install them right on top of the booster. Now the simple way to remember on the, this is the big antennas or the longer of the antennas go towards the front and back of the booster. And the small ones go right in the center. Okay, and then we're gonna take our included small wrench and do a light snug on each one of these just so they do not rattle loose while this is on top of the vehicle. You don't need to wrench it down real tight, otherwise you might break it. Just till it's snug. Perfect. So here's the booster all ready to go. And uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and take out the shorter of the two cables that are included with the kit. Because this is a smaller car, so we don't actually need to go with the long cable. And you always want to use the shortest cable possible. Now I'm going to go ahead and screw this right onto the back or onto the bottom onto this SMA connector. And I'm going to take my small wrench and I'm going to very lightly snug down this connector. If you wrench on this hard at all, you're going to end up breaking the connector. So you just want to do it very lightly. Just a little bit more than what you could do with your fingers, essentially. There. And that's it. If you do it anymore, you can snap these off. These are nice little connectors but they are fragile so you don't want to be too harsh with it so at this point this kit is actually ready to go ahead and get mounted on the outside so let's jump up to the roof I will show you how to place this and then we'll actually feed this line in here and then we'll go over what we do on the inside okay, okay so here's one of the easiest parts of this whole install process we're now going to take this unit and we're going to place it in approximately the center of the roof with as much spacing from front to back as possible so that nothing else will interfere with the antennas. And as you can see, once you put it in place, this thing's pretty sturdy. It's not gonna just walk around on you. But if you need to move it or take it off, you just easily lift there, here at the handle and it comes right off. So we have it in place, center of the roof, front to back, side to side. We're looking good. And now we're gonna actually go ahead and feed our cable in uh, through the back door here. So I'll bring the camera around and we'll get started on that. Okay, so now we're gonna take our weather stripping here and we're just gonna pull it straight down. And that will allow us to feed our cable inside here. And then we just go ahead and take our weather stripping and push it back up into place. And then we're just gonna go ahead and continue this process all the way down. And this is gonna get our cable down to the bottom so we can get it fed over to where it's gonna to connect to our power adapter inside the car. Okay, so I actually found out that I needed a slightly longer cable than the short cable would uh, allow as, as far as lengthwise goes. So I actually had to switch to the other cable, but the process remains the same. So then once you feed this cable all the way under the seat and then up to the front here, the next few steps are very simple. So we're gonna take our power adapter here. We're gonna take the two little plugs off of it. And then we're gonna take our vent magnet and we're actually just going to go ahead and slide this right into place just like so i'm going to take my input cable which is the cable that goes actually out to the booster and i'm going to screw that on this one i'm only going to do hand tight because this is not going to have as much friction and vibration up top like the other antenna will and then we're going to take our blade style antenna here and we're gonna go ahead and screw this onto the power adapter. OK. 
okay like so then we're gonna go ahead and just magnet this in place here and I'm going to take our 12 volt DC power adapter and I'm gonna go ahead and plug this right into the base here like that and then we're gonna go ahead and take our power and we're gonna run it down to our nearest 12 volt plug just like that I wanted to bring you guys in a little closer and show you there is actually a green light that will light up assuming everything is functioning correctly uh, on the bottom of this little DC adapter so then I'm gonna just take it put it back in place right there on the dash and then now I can actually tie these back a little bit if I want to make this a nice clean maybe long-term install or you could even just leave it loose and then it's a little easier to move between vehicles and then down here we just have our power adapter plugged right in and we have the availability of two USB ports which is really nice for charging other devices so at this point we're gonna go ahead and do some testing we will see what the speeds are with the unit turned on and then we'll also see what it is with it turned off just right here in town in the driveway uh, and then after that I'll tell you guys what those results are and then we'll talk a little bit about our next video uh, including this uh, terrain cell booster okay so I ran a total of four tests I ran two with a booster powered up and two with a booster off keep in mind I'm in town here and my service doesn't provide for the extreme speeds that some people may see in the city or other places so keep that in mind so first I'm going to just read you the results from the two tests without the booster powered on so our first test with no booster power was 2.68 megabits per second download and 3.13 megabits per second upload our second test was 2.53 megabits per second download and our upload was 2.64 megabits per second upload speed so that is no booster just running off it was 4g lte with three bars i then powered up the booster and did two more tests and those tests were our first one was 2.44 megabits per second download speed with 9.3 megabits per second upload speed so we pretty much tripled our upload speed but our download speed is about the same and then on our second test we actually did 2.69 megabits per second download speed with 9.42 megabits per second upload speed so our download speed didn't change very much it's all within margin of error it stayed approximately the same but on both of our tests powered up our upload speed is tripled so it's three times faster that's pretty significant um, where this test is really going to get interesting is on our next video we're actually going to go take this car for a drive and we're going to go out into uh, a little more remote areas and we're going to try and hit the same spots we did on the last video and we're actually going to test this thing and see how it performs when the service isn't so good uh, and then we can actually see some severe differences uh, hopefully between <coughs> between what uh, we get with no booster and what we get with the booster so that wraps this video up that's where we're going to stop and on the next video we will show you also how to change this from one vehicle to another so that way it's useful in multiple vehicles so go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell notification that way when the next videos come out you guys can actually see and compare and get a little more in-depth information as far as how this system works so thank you guys for watching uh, you guys can check this out in a Amazon affiliate link below and if you'd like to pick one up it helps the channel out allows us to get better equipment so that we can provide better content to you guys uh, but anyways you guys like the video like the video and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one thanks for watching